Bonjour mes amis. Welcome to my channel, The French Station, the right stop for learning French. My name is Vignesh, your teacher and friend. I'm very thrilled to help you on your French learning journey and to make the language fun and easy for you. In this video, let's discuss the exercises from lesson 5 from the newest edition of the book, Apprenons le Français. Part 1. We will make a note of the answers in this Word document and the link for this document is in the description below. In the previous videos, we went through the uh, unseen passage, that is the dialogue from lesson 5. We solved uh, the exercises based on this uh, dialogue and then we also went through the grammar topics. So the grammar topics were, uh, it was mostly about adjectives, the different forms of adjectives um, and uh, the how to conjugate the irregular verb, avoir and how to um, talk about yourself or another person in simple sentences. Now let's move ahead with the exercises. Rappelons, let us recall what we have learned. Section A, Pratik Grammatical. The first exercise under that, Complete avec le verbe avoir. Complete using the verb avoir. Um, so the verb, the conjugation for the verb avoir is given over here. It's an irregular verb and you need to know or you need to memorize the conjugation as it is given over here. So what we have to do in this exercise is looking at the subject pronouns like J apostrophe, thu, il, el, nu, etc. We need to complete the blanks using the verb avoir. Um, the first one is j'ai un stylo. I have a pen. The second sentence, tu as des stylo. You have some pens. The third one, il a un livre. He has a book. The fourth one, elle a 10 ans. She is 10 years old. So we know that in English, we say she is 10 years old. But in French, while talking about your age or any other person's age, we must use the verb avoir. So we say elle a 10 ans. Uh, literally, it translates to she has 10 years. But in English, we say she is 10 years old. But this is how you're supposed to say it in French. Then the fifth one, nous avons des cahiers. We have some notebooks. The sixth one, vous avez une voiture. You have a car. The seventh one, ils ont un ballon. They have a balloon or they have a ball. So the word ballon means both balloon or a ball. And it's masculine singular in French. The eighth one, elles ont une bicyclette. They have a bicycle. So these are the answers. The second exercise, complete avec le verb avoir ou être. Uh, complete using either être or avoir. So here we need to go through the sentences carefully and choose whether to use avoir or être um, uh, depending on the, the sentences. Uh, the first one, uh, we can use the verb être in the first blank, but the, the verb avoir in the second blank for the first one. So we can say, je suis Indian. I am an Indian. J'ai 20 ans. I am 20 years old. But in French, we say, I have 20 years. So here we've used the verb avoir. Uh, likewise, the second one, vous êtes professeur. Vous avez un livre. You are a professor. You have a book. The third one, ce sont des garçons. Ils ont un ballon. These are boys. These are some boys. They have a ball or they have a balloon. The fourth one, c'est une fleur. That's a flower. Elle a une fleur. She has a flower. Then the fifth one, tu es étudiant. You are a student. Tu as des cahiers. You have some notebooks. The sixth one, nous sommes français. Nous avons des livres. We are French. We have some books. The seventh one, il est anglais. Is he English? Il a quel âge? How old is he? So this question, il a quel âge, means how old is he? Um, in English, we say uh, how old is he? But in French, we say uh, how old uh, has he? He has what age or uh, he has how many years? That That's how we ask in French. Um, so you need to keep in mind that in French, when you talk about your age or um, uh, any other person's age also, we always use the verb avoir, uh, not être, like how we do it in English. 
um, the eighth one, elles sont petites, they are small, uh, and uh, the other sentences, elles ont des livres, they have some books. So these are the answers. Uh, the third exercise, complétez selon l'exemple donné. Complete the sentences, looking at the example that is given. So, il s'appelle Paul, his name is Paul, il a 12 ans, he is 12 years old, il est petit. Um, so, looking at this example, you need to complete the other questions also. So, for the first one, we can write, Elle s'appelle Anna. Her name is Anna. Elle a 13 ans. She is 13 years old. Elle est petite. Since elle is a feminine singular, the adjective petite is also in the feminine singular form. So, she is small or she is short. Then the second one, Elle uh, s'appelle Julie et Anne. Their names are Julie and Anna. Elles ont 12 ans. They are 12 years old. Elles sont petites. They are short or they are small. So here since L is in the feminine plural form, the adjective petite is also in the feminine plural form. Then the third one, il s'appelle Bernard. His name is Bernard. Il a 18 ans. He's 18 years old. Il est grand. He is tall. The fourth one, il s'appelle Bernard et Damien. Their names are Bernard and uh, Damien. Ils ont 18 ans. They, both of them, they are 18 years old. And ils sont grands. They are tall. Since il is in the masculine plural form, it's a masculine plural subject pronoun. Grand, the adjective grand is also in the masculine plural form. Then if you look at the fifth one, it is El Sapel Sophie et Marie. Their names are Sophie and Marie. El Zonkan Zon, they are 15 years old. El Zon Grand et uh, Belle. They are tall and beautiful. So both these adjectives, Grand and Belle, both of them are in the feminine plural form because we are talking about two girls over here. Uh, these are the answers. Let's move ahead with the fourth exercise. Numeroté, le dialogue, dans le bon ordre. So we need to arrange the sentences, number the dialogue in the correct order. Um, so if you go through the complete conversation, uh, we can find out that this is the first sentence. Manuel asks, Manuel says, bonjour. Then he asks, comment ça va? Uh, good morning or hello, how are you doing? Then Anirudh replies, bonjour. Pas mal. Uh, good morning. Not bad. Pas mal is not, not bad. Then Manuel asks, Qu'est-ce que c'est? Tu vas à l'école? Mm, what, what is it? What's going on? Are you going to the school? And then um, Anirudh replies, uh, Oui, nous avons un test aujourd'hui. Yes, we have a test today. Un test is a, a test. They have a uh, Anirudh says, we have a test today. Then Manuel replies, Ah oui, tu uh, révises pour le test? Um, oh yes, are you revising for the test? Then uh, Anirudh rep replies, oui, je révise, mais j'ai encore des doutes. Yes, I'm revising, but I still have some doubts. So the word encore is nothing but still, and doute is nothing but doubts. And then Manuel replies to that, No, thank you, pa Anirudh. Don't you worry, Anirudh. Don't worry, Anirudh. So this is a useful expression. If you tell your friend, No, thank you, pa, it means do not worry. So he says, Don't worry, Anirudh. On revise ensemble. Let, let's revise. We, will, we shall revise together. Ensemble is nothing but together. Then Anirudh says, Merci, Manuel. Thank, thank you, Manuel. So this is the right order. The fifth exercise, Mettez les phrases en ordre. Put the sentences in the correct order. Uh, the first one can be, Le professeur est grand et mince. The professor is tall and thin. The second one, La fille est sympathique. The girl is sympathetic. Third one can be, Vous avez le livre de français? Do you have uh, the French book? The fourth one can be, Vous vous appelez Como? What is your name? And the fifth one can be, Oui, je suis Indien. Yes, I am an Indian. Uh, section B, Compréhension orale. The first exercise under that, Écoutez et dites. 
si c'est masculin ou féminin. Listen and say if, if um, the sentences are in the masculine form or the feminine form. So here's the audio document. These are the sentences that you will be listening to uh, in the first exercise. You'll be listening to eight sentences. You need to say if they are um, uh, masculine or feminine. The first one is Anna et petite. Anna et petite is feminine. So the correct answer is Femina. The second one, c'est un ami anglais. It's masculine, masculin. The third one, Dominique est intelligent. If you look at the adjective intelligent, it's in the masculine singular form. So masculin is the right answer for the third one. Then if you look at the fourth sentence, Pauline est grosse. Grosse is in the feminine singular form. So femina is the right answer. Then the fifth one, c'est un beau garçon. That's a beautiful, that's a handsome boy and that uh, that goes with uh, masculine then sixth one is uh, bernard et grand again it's masculine the seventh one c'est une jolie fille and the eighth one c'est une bonne étudiante both these sentences are feminine you can see une jolie fille une bonne étudiante so both these sentences are feminine and for the seventh and the eighth one Feminine, um, we need to put a tick mark under the feminine um, uh, column. Then the second exercise, écoutez encore une fois et dites si c'est singulier ou pluriel. Listen uh, once again um, and say if the sentences are singular or plural. So singulier is singular, pluriel is plural. Um, so if you look at the first two sentences, nous avons des livres and il s'appelle Bertrand et Marc. Both these sentences are plural. So uh, we need to put a tick mark under pluriel for the first and the second one. Then if you look at the third and the fourth sentences, third one says tu es intelligent. It is singular. The fourth one is also singular because it says J'ai un frère, il s'appelle Ron. So both third and fourth ones are singulier. The fifth one, elles sont belles. So this is pluriel, the fifth one. Then the sixth one, il a un cahier rouge. He has a red notebook. That is um, um, singulier, singular. The seventh one, ils ont une belle voiture. They have a beautiful car. That is uh, plural because ILS is in the plural form. And then, je suis petite, I'm short I'm or I'm small. That is singulier, singular. Let's move ahead. Section C, production écrite. The first exercise under that, mettez au féminin. Write these sentences in the feminine form. So, while writing the sentences in the feminine form, what we need to keep in mind is that il changes to l and ils changes to e l l e s. But subject pronouns like je, tu, um, nu or vu do not um, change in the feminine form because uh, je is use for both masculine and feminine same thing goes for you know and who right so there's no separate um, feminine form or separate masculine form for words like je, tu, nu, and vu. But il changes to l, ils changes to e, l, l, e, s. That's one thing you need to keep in mind. And another thing is even the adjectives uh, must change. For example, if you have grand in the masculine singular form, while writing the feminine form, we need to say grand. If you have petit, for example, petit in the masculine plural form, uh, while writing the sentence in the feminine form, this petit has to change to petit. That is masculine plural. If it is given to you, you need to change it to feminine plural. And if you have any adjective in the masculine singular form, we have to change it to the feminine singular form. So keeping these points in mind, let's go through the first exercise. The first one is il est petit. He is small or he is short. And the answer is, elle est petite. She is small or she is short. The second one, il so mans. They are thin. Elle so mans. They, a group of girls, are thin. The third one, il est grand. He is tall or he is big. And the answer is, elle est grande. She is tall or she is big. The fourth one, il est joli. He is uh, pretty. And elle est jolie is the right answer. She is pretty. The fifth one, ils sont intelligents. They are intelligent. Elles sont intelligentes. They are intelligent, a, a group of girls. The second exercise, météo pluriel. Write the sentences in the 
plural form. So to write sentences in the plural form, what we need to keep in mind is that the subject pronoun je changes to no, uh, the subject pronoun thu changes to vu, and uh, singular other singular subject pronouns like il changes to ils, mm, then elle, -E, which is which means she, it changes to elles. And the adjectives should also be written in the plural form. For example, if we have the adjective mans. In the plural form, uh, we need to write it as mans uh, with the letter S. So this way, uh, the subject pronouns um, and the adjectives uh, should also be written in the plural form. And uh, when we change the subject pronouns, the conjugation uh, also changes. That is, for example, if you have uh, je suis in a sentence, for example, when you change je to no, what happens is we, we need to change S-U-I-S to S-O-M-M-E-S. -E so, for example, if the sentence is je suis, in the plural form, it becomes no so. So, these are some of the points that you need to keep in mind uh, but, um, while changing the sentences from uh, singular to plural form. With this, let's uh, discuss the second exercise. J'ai un crayon. I have a pencil. And the plural form is nous avons des crayons. We have some pencils. The second one, tu as une gomme. You have um, an eraser. And the plural form is vous avez des gommes. You have some erasers. The third one, il est petit. He is uh, small or he is short. And the plural form is ils sont petits. They are um, short or they are small. Uh, then one more thing is, if you look at the second one, even the indefinite articles, so the indefinite articles like UN or UNE, they also change to DES in the plural form. That's why in the second one we've written they go. Um, okay, the fourth one, elle est jolie, uh, she is pretty, and the plural form is elle sont jolie, they are uh, pretty. The fifth one, c'est une gomme, that's an eraser, and the plural form is ce sont des gommes, these are uh, erasers. The third exercise, présenter les, présenter les is nothing but present them or introduce them. Um, so they've, uh, the first person is votre mère, your mother. Um, elle s'appelle, you can write her name, so elle s'appelle Lata. Uh, then to talk to basically to present a person you need to talk about their you need to say what their name is you can talk about their age nationality you can uh, describe them um, using words like grand or, or grand petit petite uh, belle beau etc and then you can also talk about their nature like sympathetic or you know intelligent etc and um, if you want you can also say uh, what is their profession right um, you can also say what li their likes and dislikes are and talk about so many other things but here most probably um, they expect you to write around uh, three to four sentences. So, um, elle s'appelle Lata. Her name is Lata. Elle a 42 ans. She's 42 years old. Elle est indienne. She's an Indian. Elle est grande et belle. She's tall and beautiful. Elle est aussi sympathique et intelligente. She's also sympathetic and intelligent. The word aussi means uh, also. And then, elle est pilote. She's a pilot. The second uh, one, votre père. Votre père is nothing but your father. So you can say, il s'appelle and write his name. Il s'appelle Kanan. Il a 45 ans. He's 45 years old. Il est Indian. He's an Indian. Il est grand et mans. He's tall and thin. Uh, il, est, uh, il est homme d'affaires. He's a businessman. Homme d'affaires is nothing but businessman. Then third one is, votre sœur. Um, so you can say, elle s'appelle Lakshmi, elle a 20 ans. Her name is Lakshmi, she's 20 years old. Elle est indienne, she's an Indian. Elle est belle et mans, she's uh, beautiful and thin. Elle est journaliste, she's a journalist. Then the fourth one is, votre frère, your brother. Um, so you can say, il s'appelle Venkatesh, il a 18 ans. His name is Venkatesh and he's 18 years old. Il est indien, he's an Indian. Il est beau et grand, he's um, handsome and tall. Um, he, il est sportif, he's sportive. Um, il travaille dans une banque. 
Il travail means he works and in bank is a bank. So he works in a bank. Let's move ahead. The fourth exercise. They crive votre ami or ami in the feminine form or sank phrase. So describe your friend in five sentences. You can talk about any uh, friend. So here I've written Monami Sapel uh, Mega. My friend's name is Mega. Monami is nothing but my friend. Um, and then you can talk about your friend's age, nationality, um, languages that he or she um, um, uh, speaks, um, profession. So you can write about all these. So you can say, Ella van trois ans, she's 23 years old. Elle est indienne, mais elle habite en France. She's, she's an Indian, but she lives in France. So the word may is nothing but, but, and elle habite is, she lives. Elle parle tamoul. Francais, Telugu et Anglais. She speaks uh, Tamil, Francais, uh, French, Telugu and English. Elle est informaticienne. She's, she's into IT. She, um, she works uh, uh, in the IT company. And then we can say elle travaille chez Accenture. She works for Accenture company. Um, with this, we complete the fourth exercise. Let's move ahead. Section D, activity collective slash individual, group or solo activity. The first activity, your teacher has about 10 pictures on her table. Work in groups of uh, four. Each group picks up a picture. Uh, find as many adjectives as you can to describe the picture. For example, your teacher shows a picture of a girl wearing a blue dress. You can describe the picture using adjectives like belle, grand, mans, joli, bleu, surion, etc. So this is the first activity. And in the second activity, give the opposite using the stickers or autocolo. You'll be able to find the stickers at the end of this uh, textbook. Um, so you need to um, you need to find the opposites for these given words and stick the correct um, stickers. So pretty is small, joli is pretty, en garçon is a boy, un homme is a man, bon is good, content is happy, and you need to um, find out the opposites for all these words. So with this, we complete um, all the exercises from uh, the fifth lesson. In the next video, let's discuss the sixth lesson. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel, The French Station, to get notified on the upcoming videos. Like it and share it with your friends as well. Until then, a bientôt. See you soon.